I'm assuming you're all in position, respectfully, quietly, and as we noted, we are going to have a peaceful prayer with Father Gunnarsson. Mr. Matthew is here with us in the broadcast room, along with Mr. Farrell. So please welcome Father Gunnarsson for our peace prayer together. Teachers and students, last summer, all the Catholic schools throughout the archdiocese displayed a banner which said, we are praying for a peaceful summer. Despite our prayers, there still are outbreaks of violence in many different places in our world and also in our city. So once again, we want to pray this prayer in unison with all the Catholic schools throughout the archdiocese. Soon we will be displaying that same banner and asking for your prayers throughout the summer. But now I invite you to join me in the prayer of St. Francis of Assisi. Please follow along as it's posted. Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Where there is hatred, let me sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. Where there is sadness, joy. O Divine Master, grant that I may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, and it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen. There is a song that we often sing in church. It's entitled, Let There Be Peace on Earth. But one of the lines of that song says, let it begin with me. We can't control the behavior of other people, but we most certainly can make the effort to modify and to to adjust our own behavior, to contribute to a more peaceful city, a more peaceful school, a more peaceful home. So let's pledge ourselves today to be the ones who initiate the peaceful resolution of any kind of conflict or difficulty. I'm happy to have been with you this afternoon. God bless. <laughs> 